Hi guys, I'm going to do a quick video today. Um, you could call it coffee chat, you can call it whatever you want. I'm having my coffee, so I guess it could be coffee chat. Good morning, good afternoon. Oh, it's still morning. Oh my god, it's only 9.47. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Anyways, what I'm doing today, or just what I wanted to show you, it's just a little, just a little tidbit of something or other. Anyways, I don't know if you guys remember um, Buffalo Sandals, okay? These are like from the 60s, 70s. They're kind of coming back. Actually, they've probably never gone anywhere. But I used to live in these, and I had them for a long time. Wore them out, straps would break, still wear them, I'd tie things, whatever. And I've been looking for them for years, and I came across them directly from India. Actually, the same family that um, used to make them in the 60s and 70s. Shane, don't do that. Okay, we're not doing katanas and, and, and whatever they are, please. I only have limited time on my tablet today. Scaring me to death. Okay, anyways, um, yes, it's the same family that made these in the 60s and 70s. Anyways, I just wanted to share a little tidbit. Um, there's a couple things that are different. If you notice, the, the, the ones now are more pointed. You can always um, get a straight razor and shave it off. But I want to show you a little tip. I've heard people go, oh, they're super uncomfortable, they're light, they're not the way I remember them because you used to be able to get dark and light buffalo sandals. Anyways, this is how they come from India. Usually they're like, their packaging is amazing. It's in like canvas bags all glued and stitched and whatever. But this is a little tougher. So I want to show you how they actually came. Uh, when you get them brand new. These are only a couple days old. I've already done what I'm going to explain to you guys to do. This is how they come when they're brand new. And you notice they're very flat. There's no shape to them yet. The one thing you'll really notice is the color. If you can see that. The color difference. Can you see the color difference? Probably not so much. Um, they're very stiff. It's almost like, uh, well, it's definitely rawhide. They're made out of water buffalo. And don't panic or whatever. So, yes, they're made from water buffalo. All hand-stitched, whatever, they're done. So, anyways, you're like, you put them on. See, they got character marks and everything. Um, you put them on, you're like, man, these are uncomfortable. They're too stiff. They feel awful. Okay, I want to tell you, anybody who ever orders these... And they think, oh crap, I can't wear them now, they're too stiff. There's a trick, and this is what you do. First off, you put them on to make sure your feet are going to fit. And okay, they're going to be tight, they're going to be snug, you're going to be going, god dang it, these are awful. So what you do is you, you try them on. Then you take them off and you put them in a bucket of warm water. I've heard people say 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes. I just do it till they're wet, okay? And it takes a matter of like less than 3 minutes. So they're wet. So you take them out of the water, they'll be very soft, malleable, put them on your feet. All this stuff will be loose and stretchy, just like if you guys know how leather gets when it gets wet, it's very malleable. So you put it on your feet, you know, adjust the straps, adjust the toe thingy, do whatever, and walk around a little bit. Take them off, if you have to dunk them again, dunk them. What I did was I sprayed my feet with the hose while they were on my feet. Walked around a little bit, stretched them, made them shape to my foot, and then you leave them in the sun to dry. They turn out, actually, they have your feet imprints. Um, they're molded to your feet exactly. They are the most comfortable sandals you will ever wear. Um, literally, you put them on and you don't feel like you're wearing anything. So anyways, that will help a little bit with the shaping and making them fit you and be comfortable. Also, you notice that it made it a bit darker than the original. But the final step, you can use linseed oil or whatever you like. Um, I, thanks, Shane. Uh, you can also use coconut oil. And this is what you do. Just to show you, because you do want a condition. That's probably too much, so we'll just take some of it off. So what you want to do is you get a bit of your coconut oil, okay? Here's my sandal. We'll start back here. And like I said, you can use linseed oil or whatever you want. But you're going to treat your shoe 
with coconut oil and you will notice too that it'll darken it up really nice and it'll look like those um, the original okay the original uh, Buffalo sandals that you had back in the 70s plus you want to do this because you want to treat them you want them to be soft and supple you don't want them to break on you but I don't know if you can already notice the difference here while I do this let me just do this part here it'll soak in and get darker and like I said you can add as much as you want you don't want a slippery but it'll soak in anyway so let's see if we can see the difference here I'll go up to here okay so I've done the bottom half and you can see the part I've done of the shoe see the darkness already can you see that darkness already that's what you're going to want to do to your buffalo sandals okay you're going to want to coat them with a co uh, light coconut oil or linseed or whatever you guys do to leather treat I'm sure that leather treat stuff that you buy for your coats and your shoes would work I personally want to use coconut oil I just find it's convenient I have it and it's easy <laughs> you just dunk and scoop and spread but I just wanted to share that with you because I've been looking for these for like I said so long and I finally found them you can find them um, on different places from anywhere from $14 to like $39.99 I found these on eBay I also got a pair on um, be wild it's called and it's really cool be wild has some really neat funky clothes some of the clothes I, I wasn't too happy but I got a, a Baja Mexican hoodie I like to buy things from all over the place even though I don't get to go there the only place I've been to is Mexico and we used to have a Baja coat and it went missing and lost in storage and whatnot so uh yeah so I wanted to replace it plus my oldest son wanted one and I don't know if this one wants one or not but I just wanted to share that with you. That's what you do. So you go from... Jenny, where's your coffee? You go from this really light tan. And sometimes if you're lucky, you might get a darker pair when you order them. Because they do come random. But they still will not be as dark as you remember them. So you still do the same... You're still going to do the same water treatment. Um, you're still going to want to protect them. And you're definitely going to want to fit them to your feet. Or you're going to have blisters and pain and you're going to say, I hate these shoes. When really, in fact, they are like the best shoes you could possibly ever want to own. Like I wore these when I was young. Uh, right through till high school. I mean, I literally tied them. If stuff would break, I'd fab them and fix them. We just couldn't find them back then. My, my parents just would not look for more. So now, obviously, you know, I'm older. I'm on my own. And I went looking. I have a sun peeking over my shoulder. So yeah, so they're out there. I don't know if anybody is interested in buying them or not, or if they like them. But like I said, they are so worth... Ah, Shady, that's cold. It's blowing on my shoulder or something. What? I don't know, I felt like you were blowing on my shoulder. It was freaking cold and freaky. So anyways, thanks for... Anyhow, just wanted to show you that. I'm sorry I rambled on a little bit, a little bit cuckoo, but like I said, it's hard when you have people doing sneaky stuff on you and whatnot, but... Yeah, this came right from India, so don't worry about stuff like that. Don't you dare spray me. I just showered and changed and put on new clothes, so please don't spray me. Please. Oh, I have a water bottle pointed at my head. Okay, anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that. You can already see the difference between the one and the other one. You see the dark and the light. I'm going to finish up my shoes, and maybe I'll show you later what they look like. But that's it for now. We'll talk to you guys later. I might come on and do a video if I'm not being attacked by my youngest. <laughs> Shane, please don't, okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys later.